Pamela Lopez, award-winning actress, producer, writer, and political activist, intends nothing less challenging than changing the U.S. Constitution to include equal opportunity for women, equality for women. Kamala is the founder and executive producer of the, executive producer, I'm sorry, that's me in the edit room, executive director of the ERA Education Project, a nonprofit media initiative that's aimed at raising awareness about the need for the Equal Rights Amendment. She's leveraging pop media and humorous celebrity public service videos to rouse those who believe that men and women are legally equal in the United States. She's the founding director of Global Girl Media's Los Angeles Bureau. She's on the board of Girls and Gangs, and she blogs for the Huffington Post. When do you have time to do all this? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet Kamala Lopez. Thank you, um, and thank you, Rita. Thank you so much for including me. And thanks to Women's E! News for bringing our voices and our issues to light every day. As an actor and filmmaker in Hollywood, I am really honored to be in all of your company. My work in the ERA Education Project sprung from my shock and my horror at a couple of things. One was that men and women still are not equal under the law in the United States. And two, I didn't know that. And I couldn't believe I didn't know that. And then I found out that actually 75 to 90 percent of Americans today don't know that, especially young Americans that, were, that came of age after 1982, which is when the deadline on ERA expired. So when, but everybody that I talk to today is absolutely for it, and they, they're almost like, it's, it's absurd. It really is an absurdist sort of situation for the younger genera generations to find out that women don't have equal rights under the law. I had no idea, though, that starting this project was going to bless me in the way that it has, because Standing here amongst you guys, I realize there are a lot of people that agree with some very basic, simple truths that all of us are equal and we all deserve to be treated equally under the law and that women's rights are not a political issue. It's not a battle between the sexes. It is a civil rights and a human rights issue. And all of us here have the responsibility and the honor and the privilege to work to fulfill our most basic mission as human beings, which is to make the world a better place. And one of the best and biggest ways that we can do that is make the world a better place for women and girls. And that's precisely what we're all here doing. I, I just believe that having legal equality as the underpinning to that better world is necessary. Um, thank you. <laughs>